Guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another home team video. In today's video, guys, the chicken, we got the patch on. So I felt like it would be a good time to talk about working out and vaccines, specifically the uh, COVID vaccine. So uh, around here in Canada, about now, everyone's kind of going for their second shot. So I thought this might be a timely video with people in the, uh, the same situation. Now, <clears throat> well, it, it might just be for right here because, you know, Trudeau kind of politely made sure that everybody else in the world had their vaccines first before we secured any, but that's another story for another day. Um, so yeah, there's a couple things to take into account. Now, I just finished up a shoulder workout. I got this like less than two hours ago. So the takeaway is that you're probably gonna be okay. But you know, it's kind of one of those things that uh, it really comes down to common sense more than anything else. Like if you're having some kind of side effect, if you feel sick, if you feel nauseous, you know, Generally, a good idea is to not start lifting as much weight as you possibly can. Um, that goes for anything, not just vaccines. Like if you're sick in general, like it's, you know, you're, you're probably not gonna feel good if you lift weights. Now, in my experience, anything like that, I've always felt better after working out, unless you're like really, really sick and like, you know, like bedridden, I guess. But um, yeah, for the most part, you'll be okay. Now, it, it kind of goes back, like there's nothing specifically about the, the COVID vaccine and working out where it's a bad idea. They always tell you to wait to work out because whenever you get a shot, and this goes for any shot, any vaccine, anything like that, um, you know, I've had lots of them in the past and, you know, with always working out, I've always asked the, you know, the question. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's always kind of like, it, it's always that typical kind of doctor response where it's like, you know, wait like six weeks before you work out is always the answer you get, um, which doesn't make sense for people that work out normally. Um, so yeah, the, the, the biggest thing is if you get a shot or something like that, and then you work out after you're going to push a lot of like blood to the area. Typically it just means you're going to get more bruising or it might feel a little bit more sore. Like that's, that's going to be the worst of it. Right. Um, you know, depending on, you know, I'm not a doctor. Okay. But kind of, you okay. I am a doctor, but, um, yeah, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Don't, don't worry about it. It's okay. Um, there, there, there's no like. The worst thing would be you might get some bruising, might feel a little bit more sore, but uh, yeah, I think the way I did it by getting the vaccine and then working out right away, because I'm going to be more sore tomorrow probably anyways, if I even do get sore, because I remember the lady when I went in today, she said that, um, you know, you're going to feel a lot worse after this one because it's your second dose. I was like, oh, okay. And, uh, you know, I feel fine. So it's different. It's one of those things that's different for everybody. Um, so it's not kind of, you know, this is advice for everyone, but at the same time, overall, you're going to be okay. It's, it's not going to cause you any major issues. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, aside from uh, possible bruising, possible extra soreness, um, you're going to be okay. And yeah, there's no reason not to work out. And I mean, even if you are sore from it, what's, what's going to help you more? Not doing anything and keeping your arm in a cast for a week or, you know, slightly moving and getting back to it and get back to normal. You know, it's probably going to be some sort of motion, some sort of light exercise where you get a little bit of blood flowing is probably going to be the answer. Anyway, so, yep, there is your uh, COVID update from the chicken, guys. I know everyone's been uh, kind of looking at me in these times and, and what to do and stuff. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And uh, if you want to learn more, make sure to subscribe down below. And we'll catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.